destiny. I, I do believe in destiny. And I do believe in the hand of God. I'm born a person of an individual. And I believe that God has a journey for us that he's laid out. But here's the thing. Oftentimes, the road to one's destiny is a long and winding road. And there are times in the course of our destiny that there are things that seem to be injustice. And it helps to uh, build our character. And it helps us in our relationship with God. It helps us to understand our destiny when it appears. But there's one thing that I think is very, very important for us to look at in the journey that we have read about so far in this young man by the name of Joseph. Because when you go back to the beginning of the story, when it talks about that uh, that Jacob was there in the land of Canaan and he had a son, 17 years old, who he loved and doted on and he made him this coat of many colors. But when Joseph had the initial dream about his brothers and the, the sheaves of wheat and how that their sheaves of wheat bowed to him. Those brothers rejected that story and they rejected the dreamer. And when the other dream came forth that concerned Jacob and his wife, they also rejected Joseph as the dreamer. And then you f- go on with the story and you find that here are these brothers that turned against him and first they threw him in that pit, and then Judah had the idea, let's sell him. And so now they had betrayed their own brother, sold him into slavery in the house of this man by the name of Potiphar, where he succeeded immensely. And the word of God says that he was blessed, and that Potiphar was blessed because of Joseph. And it would have seemed that uh, Joseph would come to the place where he respected Potiphar and maybe even considered him to be, in a weird sort of way, kind of a friend. He had a relationship with him that I believe was very, very strong. But yet, at the time of the crisis, Potiphar turned on him. Now, as I've said, I believe that he helped to protect him. But he didn't just say to his wife, no, I don't believe this story. He He turned against young Joseph. So through all of this story, everybody that he had a relationship with turned against him and betrayed him. But there's one person in this story that you see repeatedly where it said, and the Lord was with him, and the Lord was with him, and the Lord was with him. In other words, through this whole process, the one person who never abandoned Joseph was the Lord. And I believe that's a wonderful, wonderful picture of all of our relationships with Christ Jesus and the wonderful presence of the Holy Spirit that Scripture says that he is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. And when everybody else has abandoned you. He'll be there standing with you. And that's a promise that you can hold on to and that you can believe and you can trust that he'll never, never fail you. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.